Hey there, it's Barbara Kazam, also known as Ms. Happy Pants, bringing you your Happy Pants tip of the day. So today, I want you to spend time with people, positive people. I want you to think about and analyze your social interactions. So there's a book that I love and it's called The Happiness Advantage. And they did a study and they determined that the number one factor that distinguished the top 10% of the happiest people in the world was the strength of their social connections. Hmm. The number one factor in their happiness was the strength of their social connections. So what does that mean? So that means like in a crisis, in a crisis, instead of ooh, going it alone, going into the cave and forgetting everybody, the people that came out the fastest and that will thrive the most are the ones who involve others, who get other people involved, who talk to others. They have a strong support system. So what are and who are in your social connections? I think some people that we hang out with aren't mm, the ones we should be hanging out with. They're the negative ones and they, they put us down. Well, let's wean those people out and let's get more of the positive ones. In fact, let me share with you a personal example of this. So uh, when I was going through my divorce, now I went through a divorce several years ago and I got to tell you, this was, this was not part of my plan. It was not part of my plan. I, I'm not the kind of person that gets divorced. And I actually, I was very judgmental of people who got divorced before I went through it. I was like, ah, who, why can't they keep their marriage together? What's wrong with them? But now I realize, well, <laughs> there's a reason people go through this thing. So I got to tell you, I was, I was broken. I was a broken lady. I, I set goals, you know, right? I set goals and I accomplished them. I don't fail. To me, this was a huge failure on my part. I was broken. And the only thing that got me out of that, it wasn't my girlfriends. My girlfriends were great, but what happens sometimes with friends is they're great at the beginning, but after a couple months, they kind of go away. But what really got me through that situation was my Toastmaster club. See with Toastmasters, it's a public speaking organization. With Toastmasters, we meet every Friday and we practice our public speaking skills, you know, impromptu speaking, that kind of stuff. But it's more than just a club. Those people are my friends. And it was because of them that I got through that time. I had to give a keynote presentation 12 days after my husband wanted to get a divorce. I, I didn't know what to do. But luckily, my Toastmaster friends supported me and they, they, some of them brought me food and they would call and check on me and they would make sure I was doing positive actions. Without them, I, I don't know where I would be. So your social interactions are crucial. Your support group, those po get those positive people around you. It's okay. It's okay to ask for help. We are going to have negative times. I'm not saying that we have to be positive all the time, but don't go into the cave. Use the people, use your, they want to help. They like helping in times of crisis, especially. It'll help you and it'll help them. And that will make everybody happy, right? Right. All right, thanks so much for being grand with Barbara Kazam. Bye for now.